Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's a Grammy-nominated artist who gave us hits like We Can Be Friends sure can. and How Did You Get Here? Now, y'all know that was a jam. She's also a critically acclaimed actress who made her mark on stage, on the stage, most notably wowing audiences in The Bodyguard, the musical. Well, if that isn't enough, she's an advocate for the LGBTQ community, pushing for equal legislative practices. And if that isn't enough, okay. she's active on the HIV AIDS awareness front. Please welcome the very beautiful and very talented Deborah Cox. Yes! Hello, lovely. Hi, happy belated birthday. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> My goodness. You're just oh. as gorgeous as the day you came out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Just yes. as beautiful. So are you, ladies. Thank Congratulations you. on everything. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank now, you, you just did Diva Simply Singing, which yes. is an AIDS benefit concert that Shirley Roth does every year. It's awesome. It's fun. Mm. What was it like this year? I mean, it's so mm. impactful every year. People cry, chow, they fall they out. They chow, yeah. <laughs> it's, I think because everybody remembers the, uh, you know, why they're there, yeah. what the um, intention is of the show, and all these people trying to raise more awareness about what's going on. Mm -hmm. It's um, HIV and, and AIDS is, is really yeah. impacting our community, yes. you know? Um, it's not a disease that has a stigma anymore. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, you know, that, that moment to be able to perform, uh, you know, and again, and, and, and share was was amazing yeah. and and Shirley Ralph is a huge huge advocate yes she is you know for yeah. uh, for the cause and I'm sure you tore the people down had them crying <laughs> and down all over the place <laughs> and, and speaking of of your amazing uh instrument in that throat of yours you have a new single called easy way yes and we easy were just way. listening to it now uh -huh. we're, we're, what mindset come on come on now. yes girl just, just yeah. slaying the people well, what is happening <laughs> on your Benjamin button <laughs> So, where were you um, personally in your life when you wrote this song? Because um, I didn't write it. No, oh, no. Big it. shout okay. out to, to Rico Love. Oh, okay. Well, okay. He is wrote an it. Oh, yes. 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 the truth. Yes, yes. he is. And um, and uh, D Town also produced it with him. Okay. And so we've been in the studio in Miami. Um, you know, just collaborating and putting together music for this seventh album. I'm very excited yes. about it. Yes, congratulations. And Rico Love is the executive producer. He's excellent. He's been somebody that I've watched from a distance and has, I've been a huge fan of his yeah. music, especially, you know, uh, Turn the Lights Off. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, um, you know, so I was just thrilled that, um, you know, there was even interest there, you know, to really work together and, and do something and come up with something really great. So this song, Easy Way, uh, was released uh, on all platforms, so you mm -hmm. can go and check yes. it out. Yes. If you haven't got it already, <laughs> um, and then the album will come out in 2020. Now, yes. what, now what is your advice, Deborah, mm. to the ladies mm -hmm. that's taking the easy way and getting out of relationships when maybe they should stay and stick it out? That's the thing. I think you get to that point in a relationship where you don't know what to do, and mm -hmm. that's really what the song talks about. But I think more than ever more than just talking about love on a real superficial level, I think it's important for people to understand that you have to love yourself first, and Definitely. I know it seems cliche, mm -hmm. but you have to love yourself first mm -hmm. and find yeah. that place of happiness and before you get into another situation with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's definitely And um, it's about two whole people yes, coming come together. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Well, speaking of whole, you have a whole new single again yes. called <laughs> Give Me Some Christmas. It's being Give featured on the Disney movie, Noel. Yes. Let me ask you a question. You know, as singers, you know, when we're in our own element, whether we're doing R&B music or pop music, when we do uh, Christmas music, Mm -hmm. It takes us to a whole new place. Mm -hmm. So where did you have to go in order to do this single? Well, for this song, it's really festive. It's joyful. It's upbeat. It's fun. It's um, some. It, it's really. It really exemplifies, I think, the child in me. I love mm -hmm. Christmas. December's my favorite month. <gasps> me too. It's my it's, favorite. It's always been, and I love the spirit of Christmas. And I think it's when people are the most, you know, closest to their authentic spirit in themselves, oh, which is deep. the joy. Um, and the love and you know the spirit of giving is there mm -hmm. so this song is is all about that it's a little bit of it's a little sexy as well you know like a Santa baby kind of vibe. <laughs> yes everybody loves Christmas but what is your favorite holiday memory oh yeah Oh, my favorite holiday memory. Um, well, I, I grew up I didn't grow up with a lot of money and our mm -hmm. family um, used to get these baskets from Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. And I remember the, the when that 
basket used to come in. I mean, I remember it was a good five, six years straight. Every mm -hmm. Christmas, it would be, be all kinds of toys mm -hmm. and stuff. And that was the biggest memory for me. Oh, well, when dope. we come back, <laughs> we, first of all, we're having such an amazing time mm -hmm. with you. And when mm -hmm. we come back, if you're staying for the full hour, we're going to have more with Deborah Cox. The fun won't stop. We're going to go into the table to hang out with Quad and Rashawn. And you can get Deborah's new single, Easy Way, right on all digital streaming platforms. And just like that, we are back as promised with the one and only Deborah Cox. Yeah. And I'm going to Rashawn Ali take it from here. here. Hey. The World AIDS Day con I mean, um, concert is coming up December the 5th. Yes. How important is it for you to be a part of this great event? Um, really important. You know, I think we need to um, continue to raise awareness keep this conversation going. A lot of people don't understand that it's very, very prevalent in our community. Mm -hmm. um, black women especially um, here in Atlanta and yes. Florida and, yes. you know, it, and uh, in Louisiana, there's a lot of people that are infected. And the wonderful thing about the AHF um, <coughs> Foundation who has uh, invited me to and put this, these events on all over the country is that they have wonderful organizations that they work with to, to do a lot of outreach, free mm -hmm. testing, um, you know, um, they deal with homelessness for some people that are affected and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, it's, it's going to be a really great performance tomorrow yeah, to just, good. again, share and raise awareness. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm sure you have all types of music, all different oh, yeah, genres, you know because you've been able to cross over so, so beautifully well. Was that intentional, or was that something that just kind of happened organically for you? A little bit, yeah. It, it was all organic. You know, once we released Who Do You Love, the remix, um, everything just kind of resonated and connected with the audience in a way that I never imagined, and it's brought mm. me all over the world. Yes. Got people in the dan on the dance floor, mm -hmm. and, um, it, you know, I think that all the songs have, have had their own life mm -hmm. as um, you know as each remix was was put out mm -hmm. so uh, I'm thrilled tomorrow yes. will be you know we're gonna dance we're gonna you know slow it down a little bit mm -hmm. um, yeah it'll be a little bit of everything as an African-American woman in particular we, mm -hmm. we, we have a lot of challenges and struggles and we're often you know perceived in a wrong way in a, mm -hmm. in a wrong manner how are you appropriately placing this and in, in expressing this in your music? Um, mm. I think I, I just, I approach it with, uh, with the fearlessness. I, I think you have to just kind of dive in sometimes yeah. and just tackle it. That's the only way. And I think the only way we're going to be understood um, is if you communicate yeah. in constant communication about Dif all different types of issues. And I think social media really helps us mm -hmm. to um, to address certain mm -hmm. issues yeah. and mm -hmm. to stay connected with the audience in a way that we never uh, had that opportunity before. Right, right, right. Yeah. And as someone who was so seasoned in this industry, um, and you just kind of look back on your career, and all the different stages that you've been on, you know, and Broadway, yes. and, and, and <laughs> the Grammy stage, all the different stages, touring, mm. television, um, what would be the most rewarding stage yeah, for you? Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's a hard, hard question. question. I know. <laughs> it's a hard I question. I know, but we on a talk show, um, Deborah, so I'm going to with the good um, questions. I think for me, I mean, I've always loved musical theater. Mm -hmm. I grew up listening and loving musical theater. I think it's the opportunity to um, express artistry with music, song, dance, work with a big production, mm -hmm. work with other cast members. It's collaborating, wow. yes. um, which is amazing. The Bodyguard, when we were here, we had an amazing time. Um, and, you know, I think it, it I think that's where you really feel me the most mm -hmm. is where I'm mar my most authentic self. On that stage, you know, yes. is, is yeah. when it's in a live performance mm -hmm. setting. And, yeah. and you played Whitney Houston in the in yes, the, body in the bodyguard. Yeah, Rachel what was, Marin. What uh -huh. was that like, Deb? It was a, it was a thrill. It was an Man. honor. I got an opportunity to sing all these classic mm -hmm. songs yes. that people were, you know, have loved and and remembered. And I think it was really about bringing the essence of these songs back and to remind people of wow. the legacy and the greatness yes. mm -hmm. yes. um, and that, that this classic music yes. brought us. Yes. Yes. yes, yeah, it was thrilling. You do a lot of advocacy work for the LGBT community. Where mm. is the source of all that passion? Oh, Where's it's it, it, it comes from just, it comes from God, you mm -hmm. know, wanting to see people live their authentic life, wanting mm -hmm. people to be loved in a way that's unconditional. And yeah. I think that a lot of people, when it comes to HIV and AIDS and you know, foundations like the AHF that are out there advocating and helping people um, and and raising awareness. I think that's 
that's the fight, you know? Yes. It's it's a constant, constant thing. Yes. You just have to constantly be out there fighting the good fight. Yeah, yeah. go yeah. ahead. I'm so great. proud of you for that. So stage play, mm -hmm. new music, new and music. also a new movie on BET called yes. Influence. Tell us about that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Busy. You're trying to yes. <laughs> um, I've been waiting for a kind of a project like this. It's a, it's a suspense, it's a thriller. Mm -hmm. um, I play a woman who's accused of murder. Did you do and, it? Uh, <laughs> I'm not telling you to watch it. You gotta watch it. See. Um, <laughs> Um, it's it's the fun part about what we do and what we have the opportunity to do when we get to use our gifts and talents. That's the fun part. Yes. So for me, doing this this film um, was a real thrill. And acting, I want to do more of. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yeah, to explore more. Oh, yeah. Wow, wow. <laughs> so what what would be next for you? Continuing to, to do you, what would challenge you as far as a role? Um, oh wow, what would challenge me? I think well. I think, uh, you know, a musical, a, a musical that's filmed, you mm. know, mm. something that's, you know, I think I've, I've done a lot of different things, but I think something that, um, yeah, something on the big screen, whatever. Yeah. Like the wind. Oh, yeah. What the do you wind. think mm -hmm. keeps you in the game? I mean, you've been around for a while yeah. and mm -hmm. successful at it. What, mm -hmm. what do you think it An is? An unscathed kind yes. of coming <laughs> in here looking <laughs> done. together. To done. Yes. Exactly. Okay. What do you think it is? I, I think, I think I'm, I'm at a place in my life where it's really about the passion. Yes. It's not mm -hmm. about anything else, but just doing things that I'm passionate mm -hmm. about and I'm back to the love of it. I, yeah. get, I don't get caught up in the industry BS. Good. Yes. I really stay um, just connected to the music and, con and connected to the art. Yes, That's what definitely. moves me. That's what makes me really passionate about what I do. Yeah. And, and, and I have to have fun. Yeah. 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 But the yeah. journey to get fun. there was such a, an Ooh, exploration. The journey was, yeah. 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 It I wasn't remember. easy. You know, I had to say no to a lot of things when I decided to stop mm -hmm. for a bit and have my mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. it was, yes. That was important to me. Yeah. But it, it, um, yeah. But I'm so happy that I did. Well, we're happy yeah. that you did yeah. as well. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging with us yeah. today. Oh, yes. You can stream Deborah's new single, Easy Way, right now. And if you're in the ATL this Come weekend, on, make sure oh, you get your tickets to the World AIDS Day concert on Thursday, God. December 5th. Oh, yeah. And did I mention it's free 99? <laughs> free 99. Love it. It's free 99.